It should be known that Facebook, a primary method of sharing information for most people, can and does regularly censor what people post and manipulate which of your friends' posts actually show up on your newsfeed. If a post contains keywords that Facebook has determined they don't want to go viral for whatever reason, their filters simply prevent the message from even showing up on most users' news feeds. Facebook has been caught and reluctantly had to admit that they manipulate which topics are shown on people's news feeds and conduct experiments using these tactics to determine how they can affect people's mood and opinion on specific issues. Facebook has become a danger to free speech, not to mention privacy as well. People around the world are now routinely arrested for hate speech after posting criticism about their government's liberal and pro-New World Order policies. This isn't just happening in third world countries. It's happening in England, Scotland, Germany, Canada, and other supposedly free countries. Fellow social media giant Twitter also dumps certain hashtags and tweets from popular users down the memory hole so that posts only show up to a small fraction of people. Instead of banning a user, which may bring a lot of attention to the person, something Twitter certainly doesn't want, they covertly use the tactic of ghost banning or stealth banning, which is employed in attempts to prevent people from noticing that certain tweets are being censored. Twitter's co-founder and CEO Jack Dorsey, along with most of the company's top executives, are liberals. And there is increasing evidence that the platform uses Orwellian algorithms to limit the reach of controversial conservative accounts and the messages that they post. Vicious death threats and other harassment aimed at white people and conservatives from Black Lives Matter supporters largely go without the perpetrator's accounts being locked or suspended for terms of service violations. The site also awards the coveted verification check mark to many liberal online activists, trolls really, while continuously refusing to verify popular conservatives, myself included, and even in some cases unverifying them in attempts to diminish their credibility. Unfortunately, the vast majority of people, at least at this point in time, don't care or can't understand the complexities, the effects, and the dangerous precedents that this kind of information manipulation, censorship, and selective enforcement of terms of service violations have on society and free speech. Even more unfortunate is that most people now engage in self-censorship out of fear that they might post something that'll put their account in jeopardy of being shut down due to political bias and the enforcement of the agenda-driven terms of service at the top social media companies. Again, all of this coordinated at the Sun Valley Conference, which largely decides what social media platforms will go mainstream and then integrate them into the intelligence agencies and law enforcement so that they function as the eyes and ears of Big Brother. I'm Mark Dice. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new. Check out some of the over 2,000 previous videos. Pick up a copy of my new book, The Illuminati in Hollywood. There's a whole section in there on the Sun Valley Conference and social media manipulation. And stay tuned. Lord willing, more videos coming soon.